Have you ever worked with fiber optic network polarity, sometimes referred to as fiber mapping or routing? Well, at Senko we have, and it can get complicated, especially when trying to deal with existing network infrastructure. For this reason, we've been working hard to address some of the polarity issues seen with MPO type A and type B configured cable assemblies and their polarity flips. To help with this in your data center racks or patch panels, we have developed the MPO changeable adapter. Check this out. By using the RMT609 tool, you can remove the center insert of the adapter. Simply take off the dust cap, take your tool, put it into the adapter, pull, and you've removed the center insert. Now you can easily reverse the keyway and then put back the center insert into the adapter. Why do you think that this matters? Well, you may come up to your rack with an MPO connector and the polarity is flipped. If you aren't using a connector that you can change the polarity easily, you're stuck. So with the MPO polarity changeable adapter, you can save a lot of trouble, headache, and money. In the case that you don't have these in your existing network infrastructure, you could protect yourself from type A and type B polarity flips by having cable assemblies made with our MPO Plus Premium Mini Connector, which is GR1435 certified. This product works very well because by simply pulling back on the housing, you could push the key in on one end and then do the reverse on the other side. You pull back the housing and you pull the hidden key out. The MPO Mini also has an additional gender changing capability where you could quickly remove the pins to make the connector go from male to female without the need to open the housing or any complicated tools. You just simply use something like the RMT604 where you could push down on the wings to clamp on the pins. So here I'll push down on the two wings, I'll clamp the pin and I'll pull to remove one pin and I'll do the same again to remove the second pin. This is a quick solution for a potentially expensive time consuming installation issue. And for those high density applications, we have the push pull tab as is seen here. So you can actually install this onto your patch panel by just using the push pull tab like so and click it into place. If you did enjoy this video, please subscribe to our channel for more content. Thank you.